Yes. Where are you? I'm on a different planet. Mm-hmm. Could you describe this planet for me? The floor looks like rainbow grass. Mm-hmm. And it's a, a sunrise in the horizon. And the moon looks like the size of a, it's enormous, takes up half the sky. Mm -hmm. Before me, there are three tall beings. And they are in front of a, a craft, a white craft. What do you look like there? I am barefoot wearing a white robe. Mm -hmm. What is this place? Pass them. I'll see on. Mm -hmm. Why have you been brought here? It's my place of origin. Mm -hmm. During this timeline. What is the purpose of them bringing you to this place? To readjust, upgrade, and remind. I was bringing them back information about what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. Who are these beings to you? They are elders, part of our council. Mm -hmm. And why is it that at this time they have had, you've had so many visitations by them? What's happening now? Every time that they show themselves, there is a activation of new possibilities that's available. Mm -hmm. And so they activate that as a part of me work. So what's necessary in the next three years? What's happening? in three years in the next three years we have just commenced a new era we're entering a new cycle of the photon belt of the universe and as we traverse into this new system of information the manifestation of creation has changed the laws of creation are changing Therefore, every living being that is adjusting to this new vibrational frequency, this band of light, is invited to allow this information to penetrate into their system, into their organism. How is that done? How is that, how is this invitation to allow it done? The body of a human has bands of light that are interconnected with the solar system. And every energy that comes into the universe affects an organism of the human. But if they have blockages that are emotional or ancestral, the energy finds difficulty reaching its core. Because everything is a hologram, the human body is is functioning on projections of older timelines, future timelines that are available. So the human must find the ability to surrender completely to its organic self without fear. This current moment of fear and manipulation was caused to slow down the progression of this commencement of evolution that is coming. Mm -hmm. But the light within each one is changing, shifting how that's occurring. Each human has the ability of moving out of this soiled and uh, stuck self. 
that's the invitation now. Mm -hmm. So right now we're having a lot of political issues. We're having a lot of health issues. You're saying that this is on purpose? Uh, that's never changed. It's always been. Mm -hmm. But it is a moment of shift from the organic into an inorganic source of human beings. The human race that is managed by beings that are reptilians and these beings that are more connected to the electromagnetic field and resonance with metals. Mm -hmm. The technology is wanting to change and alter DNA so that it becomes a transhumanist system mm -hmm. connected to technology. The human must pull away from technology in order to come into its pure organic form. And so a lot of people are rejecting that pulling away of that information. They don't want to disconnect from technology and it's causing harm. Mm -hmm. It's causing their body's illness. So how do we pull away from technology? Simply understanding that technology is not just a, a stage, stationary, solid system. It is a somehow interacting with your consciousness. And every time that you connect to technology, whether it's a cell phone or a television screen, these beings have the ability to move in through those radio waves and to connect into the cerebral cortex that affect the nervous system. Mm -hmm. And the nervous system connecting down to your emotional body is manipulated through your emotions, your fear, your insecurity, your doubt. A person's sense of self will allow them to define and to move growing their inner light. This technology system hijacks the human body through this system and takes over implementing ideas and thought forms that don't belong to the organic mind. Mm -hmm. The human body is composed of the exact reflection of the universe which means that it is a fractal of the design of the universe. And in this fractal of the universe, we have a pole, a pillar of light that goes through the body, that is a channel that connects directly to source. This becomes interfered with when technology is too connected to a human being. Can you give me a visual of what this light looks like when it's been interfered with it becomes fragmented and shattered as it comes through the body mm -hmm. the human body that holds their light most people have a very small thread of source light through their crown because they are disconnected from themselves even though they try to be in the moment or aware mm -hmm. a profound awareness of the self creates a real true connection it allows the person to embody unconditional love. Any being that is incapable of holding unconditional self-love for themselves weakens this thread of light that connects to source. It is a channel of consciousness that is available to them. Mm -hmm. So is this why we've been hearing so much about the importance of meditation? Meditation is the access to the true, the true source of everything. Those that have been disconnected from their inner connection don't know what is, what is right, what is wrong within them and without them. The sooner they reconnect with their connection, they grow that inner light. More advanced people have cords that are the size of their body, the size of even their head. We want to try to enlarge the thread of light because 
the way that energy life force is being distributed through the universe, commencing now in this current beginning of a new phase that we're entering, the bands of light are wider, they're thicker, and in order for a human to embody health and balance, they need to be able to have that channel clear and open so that they can bring in this channel, they can be a receptor to the information that travels through the universe with information of healing, of wisdom, of knowledge, all of the patterns and codes of creation that are a part of the whole are bestowed upon humans through this cord of light. Any blockage prevents them from having clarity on how to proceed. Hmm. How does nature affect us regarding this light? Is it easier to, to connect with this in nature? Nature, your ability to be outside of any constraint of matter, whether it's the beams of your ceilings and your walls that are designed to limit and inhi inhibit and cause interference in the expansion of your magnetic field is necessary in order to come into full embodiment of this life source the human must be in alignment with nature as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And it is in nature that we have the ability to be in coherence with all things that are true, that are right. They are the natural balance of creation, the life force energy that is the structured code that is encoded within light patterns of sun. The sun, which is a receptor and a, almost as if a, um, antenna of information that runs and allows each human to receive what is necessary in forms of patterns of codes of light, sounds, shapes, mm -hmm. and expressions. I've, I've noticed that there are some airplanes that are spraying things in the sky that block out some sunlight. Is that affecting us? The same way that Homes and buildings were created and designed to limit the expansion of the human body. Our atmosphere is being injected with metals that cause a bouncing effect to the waves of our consciousness. The collective human race has the ability of sending signals of light patterns to other planets based on its collective vibrational frequency. Over the past few months, that collective frequency has been misdirected into a state of fear and panic. And over the next couple years, it is necessary to redirect that into a state of unconditional awareness of the self in the environment at all times. The only way to be able to expand this light is through the openness of the etheric body, the awareness that the limitations of the multidimensional body don't end with the physical. They begin at the physical and expand out into the universe, interlaced into several layers of consciousness and awareness. And what happens after the three years or the four years? There is, in every second that we breathe air into the lungs of the body, every second that we choose an emotion, you and I are co-creating what happens after those four years. Okay. It's within the fourth year that we begin to manifest and create there will be a split in consciousness of our reality, either to choose transhumanism and technology or the organic. We are being called to pull into one of these choices and the choices are done every minute of your day as you co-create what occurs. Okay. Well, it's up to us which side we go to. Yes. Okay, good. Are there different timelines that are happening 
there are millions and millions of possibilities as infinite creators. The human body has the ability of choosing what they wish to experience at any given time. Therefore, your choice of how you're going to experience this moment right now is completely up to you. Mm -hmm. how, how is it that we manifest with these, with these thoughts, with these frequencies in these simultaneous timelines? Every thought, every emotion, every single feeling that you feel within your body is a vibrational pattern that provides information to the whole. Your surroundings are alive. They are conscious. Every cell, every molecule that is around you that is connected, grouped together to create matter, is mm -hmm. vibrating and responding to what you give off. Your ability to express yourself at this any given moment shifts and changes your environment either in states of healing or in states of disease. Your ability to change the way that you experience the, that expression is based on your awareness of this given time. Mm -hmm. All right. So once we put our attention to something, we're actually creating in that timeline. Once we focus... The definition of focus has to be changed mm -hmm. into an understanding of what you are aware of. You may focus on one thing, but you might avoid the reality of something else that's happening around you. Mm -hmm. It is the ability to come into complete awareness of everything that is occurring simultaneously. Your body is absorbing constantly from around you and observing. So your awareness, mm -hmm. you have to exercise and allow yourself to be aware of everything at all times. Okay. Without judgment. Hmm. That's a little bit different, difficult at this time, isn't it? It is something that when you are in the present moment is natural part of being in the present. Hmm. Okay, good. So this, um, how does this affect the whole? Because we're, we are all co-creating this world, are we not? Yes. Okay, so how does this experience affect the whole? Everything is a fractal of one another. Mm -hmm. You, in a sense, you might think that you are creating something separate from a whole, but you are a mere reflection of what's happening in the larger picture. The larger picture right now is going through transition points constantly. This transition point that we are experiencing here on earth at this time is the beginning of a new of a new era for human race mm -hmm. in which the ideas and limiting beliefs of not being able to create outside of matter is now the truth mm. we have the ability of creating outside of matter okay you know they've so, talked yes go ahead changes the laws of creation for this timeline what's happening now is coming into a new way of creation over the next 10 years that will jump the evolution of mankind in technology and healing and health and in the human body what i've noticed is that 
I, t I seem to be manifesting much quicker than in the past. Mm -hmm. Is it everyone doing the same thing? Yes, because the current timeline that we have come in through is that time is speeding up. Everything is sped up. Mm -hmm. We are at the zero point. This current year is the commencement of a zero point in which all living beings are having to enter a state of neutrality, of non-judgment, in which they can then create and manifest all things. In the way that we are manifesting and time is speeding up, we have the ability of not judging what we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. That is a trick. Whatever you manifest into this current time, you cannot judge. And that's where the majority of people get tangled up in their fears and their doubts about what they're creating. Mm -hmm. It has to be a constant flow, movement of life force energy in order to come into expression that is necessary. Thank you. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you are a healer. You teach other people, you are helping people. Is that free will? Are, you, are we interfering with their free will to create their own life? Their own learning? their own manifestation? This current dimensional timeline that we are in sharing here is based on the law of, of duality. And in that law of duality, there is an exchange that occurs. One gives, one receives. Mm -hmm. Within that exchange, each being has a choice of what they wish to receive or what they wish to exchange. The humans that are expressing themselves in a way, there will always be that exchange. Mm -hmm. So those who are healers, those who are teachers, those who are writing books, should they continue to do that even though others have a free will to accept the information or reject it? Where does free will fall into all of this? It's like a theater. Mm -hmm. Each person, they, they would hope and they dream that what they do and what they give is worthy, is uh, special, is, is necessary. Mm -hmm. But everything that we do in the universe is really for ourselves, for us, because we are a self-generated creation. We are the reference point of our universe, of this holographic projection. Mm -hmm. The human that creates from the intention of receiving or achieving or receiving a praise, even if it's something at the deepest level of the subconscious mind, ultimately will be disappointed because Every human will receive what they need with, from what you speak. Mm -hmm. there, there's always the choice of whether they want, and we have to allow for that choice. So if you are aware and conscious of yourself, everything that you speak, it might not be what a person needs. Perhaps it's not where you're at. Perhaps you don't even understand what it means yet. The levels of possibility are so infinite that 
You can never be right about what you think, what you speak, what you teach. Therefore, it's like choosing to play a role in a theater. If you wish to play the role of a teacher, you can play that role. Keeping with a clear understanding that what you are providing the world is your own experience. And the trick is to not have any expectation of what you wish to receive from that. Okay. So the trick is to really enjoy yourself with your own creations. Yes. Okay, good. So we're really serving ourselves. Everything is the center point of creation. Okay, good. We wanted to revisit the map and expand on that map that she saw in session 133. Just imagine yourself standing in front of a canvas with your paintbrushes. I want you to begin to paint the map. And as you begin to paint it, allow yourself to begin to integrate inside of that map feeling yourself being drawn in deeper and deeper into it. You could add some colors, some brush strokes in places that need to be illuminated to be touched up. Just nod your head when you've gotten the map complete. Mm -hmm. What are you noticing? What stands out? As you look at each area, it'll almost be as if you are unlocking the information. Allow the information to flow. What are you noticing? I see that England is highlighted in purple. Okay. England and Ireland. Mm -hmm. So hone in on England and Ireland. Zoom in on it. What does the map tell you? underground facilities up, up north, up towards the North Pole. They are chambers of silicon and uranium. And these chambers feed into a power grid that is stored in England and is connected through an underground tunnel to the United States 
and to Europe and Russia and down to the Middle East. What is, what is it used for? The underground system is used for a couple things. One of which is the distribution of this uranium through the planet Earth. The uranium functions like a, like a conduit of energy necessary to move important chemicals as well as human trafficking, uh, which is, in other words, genetic material through these different departments or phases of the earth. And this is something that was built after the Second World War. It was a tunnel to provide travel between Germany, Berlin, and uh, the UK. Mm -hmm. Who uses these tunnels? Um, they are used by a very uh, people that are in charge of a, a darker upper military that is a sub-department of the New World Order. Mm -hmm. And this is where the inner communications between the governments occurs in how they situate and facilitate any kind of deployment of revenue and manipulation of biological weapons that are held around the world. Hmm. Why is it necessary for you to see this today? What's the importance of it? That this is was built after the World War II in order to facilitate and carry out agendas that were practiced for centuries historically, although we're not aware of the practices that have been carried out, but the warfare of bi biology, mm -hmm. the warfare of chemical substances, and the manipulation of mind control through the different generations of waves of consciousness and awareness through mankind's evolution. Mm -hmm. And we've reached a pinnacle point where they have deployed uh, an exercise of this manipulation over the past few years, a uh, few months, and are now creating this deployment into the future in order to allow humans to choose how they want to experience what is occurring next. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have any more information on that? Or do you want to move to another area of the map? We can go to another area. All right. So go ahead and focus on that other area. Zoom in. Okay. We're going to North Africa. Mm -hmm. There is a movement of bags of grains, weaponry. the hijacking of the Divine Feminine, the mutilation of the Divine Feminine within this space, mm -hmm. the symbolism of how they are blocking the expression of the Feminine as its rebirth in the Age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Notice how they're doing that. Uh, creating a confusion 
through mass media about what the feminine should be and uh, sexuality, the identity of sexuality. Mm -hmm. It is a complete inversion of the purity of the expression and the alchemy of the divine feminine. The divine, the woman, the female form is the most powerful expression of alchemy in the universe because it has the ability to harbor creative life force energy within it. And for centuries it's been brainwashed within society to uh, limit or to uh, seduce and control the feminine, the female. But this has not only happened within the actual female embodiment, but within the divine feminine of the masculine form, causing the complete betrayal and resentment of uh, the abilities that are available to each human for creation. So this is something that's being healed now uh, within our society for the next few years. It is a complete healing of the feminine wound so that it understands that its power is actually one of the most revered. Uh, in fact, this entire universe can be looked at as this womb of creation within a womb within a womb of creation that allows for the manifestation of all potentialities. The human has to learn how to embody that potential creation without any limitation, distraction, which is severely uh, manipulated and orchestrated throughout our society at this time. Mm -hmm. And you had focused in on North Africa. Was that East or West or the entire North? Looking at West. The West. So very close to the Middle East. Mm -hmm. This is uh, one of the largest suppressions of this, the inversion of the Divine Feminine. And it's something that will rise over the next year. The women in that, in that area will rise, will protest mm -hmm. in a sense, no longer permitting and allowing this kind of suppression, which is the complete inversion of all that is divine, pure, in harmony with nature. What happens when the divine feminine is, is uh, not expressed in men? There is a, a, a deep uh, anger and imbalance of creative life force energy that manifests itself. This ancient energy of the creative womb of the spider, of the eight legs of a spider, the eight monads within the body, the eight main chakras of the human body, they become distorted. When the human is creating an imbalance within their body, organs and their life force become affected and disease begins. Mm -hmm. So any faculty of man, whether their sex does not matter, it is the balance of the feminine and masculine within this that creates a balanced flow of life force energy to create. So the blockage of any of these energies creates disease and imbalance and sickness, mm -hmm. suffering, emotions that kill, causing suffering to mankind. How do we heal that within ourselves? The awareness of these two dualities within us, that you are a fractal of infinite consciousness, that within that, in order to create the laws of the universe, are the balance between these dualities. Mm -hmm. Just looking at nature, understanding that if you truly understand creative energy, you understand that you have the ability of balancing them within your body in order to create. Any Anyone that denies this truth within them is just in denial of their own creation. So how we heal that is to become aware that all of those are parts of us, that everything outside is a reflection of us. Any anger that we feel towards something that happens outside of us is a reflection of what's unfinished within you. 
the ability to then take the time for stillness, silence, to sit with those emotions, to allow the information to arise from those emotions in order to create healing is what's necessary from each individual. Wonderful. Good. Is there anything else that you need to see in that area of the map? No. Good. So let's zoom out and pick another area. Yeah, in America. Mm -hmm. I see baskets of cotton, baskets of produce and pharmaceuticals that are a direct result of this cotton industry, of the oil industry, that were replaced in society and were replacing the main manufacturing, com manufacturing companies in history in order to shift the focus because more money was made from pharmaceuticals than these uh, homeland goods mm -hmm. um, was really one of the biggest changes in history of Rockefeller's investment in the discovery of the use and the weaponization of illness through the creation of uh, diseases and vaccines for diseases, uh, which was first implemented in Africa, in India, and tested for years in that space, causing major distribution of cocaine and uh, weapons, um, mainly uh, mobilizing um, gangs and any kind of uh, terrorists from those space, creating, fueling terrorists in those space in order to monopolize the system of diamonds, of oil, and uranium. Um, the majority of all of these moves financially were to cover uh, the actual interest, which is uranium. Uh, uranium, which is necessary for nuclear war weapons, is not just for, for that, but uranium is one of the most powerful secret substances in order to uh, move uh, life force energy and to understand the split of the atom in how we are looking at understanding our multidimensionality. It is the key uh, to understanding moving through dimensional timelines. And this was weaponized in CERN, as well as other atom splitters uh, around the globe. Um, most of this science, which is now available to us, uh, talks of how the splitting of the atoms understands and begins to demonstrate uh, dimensional points of reference. Each human um, is now learning that information from the inside out, even though it has been suppressed from the mainstream. Um, this information will now be going out over the next three years, but it's, it's too late. Don't wait for that information to go out into the mainstream. The purpose of it is so you understand your multidimensional body and healing for all of the weaponization of mind control and uh, chemicals that are going to attempt to be deployed over the next three, four years. Mm -hmm. Is that all that you have found on the map of the U.S.? Um, the weaponization of mind control, uh, the U.S. is the, the ground control, ground uh, base mm -hmm. for the exercises of mind control um, because uh, media is monopol uh, a monopoly mm -hmm. in a sense that it's pre-programmed what will be distributed and deployed based on companies that pay a higher dollar, a higher bid for the exercise of their experiment. And once it is taken in the U.S., it is then actually deployed to the rest of the world. Um, we have are beginning to mirror the system of China of control in which 
all your information is being utilized, stored within banks of information so that everything becomes uh, uh, online through the internet. Everything will be virtual uh, over the next three years, including your identity, uh, your DNA information has already been stored. All of that information is necessary in order to create holographic aspects of yourself. And so your ability to come into presence is important because these aspects are being utilized to create cloning systems that um, are fractals of yourself and uh, almost like a, a cyber voodoo doll. They, these uh, objects are utilized to manipulate you in the way that you feel, your emotions, what you want to buy, what you want to use uh, as a consumer. So it's almost as if uh, energetic hygiene will be even more important over the next couple of years because we're having to find this artificial aspect of ourselves that are being manifested and created and destroy them so that we are not um, in any way uh, used. Our consent to applications such as uh, mass media products like Instagram, Facebook, um, all of these mass media products are actually uh, using their terms and conditions in order to uh, agree to take over our core information, our core data that is shared. Um, but it's not just core data, it's be behavioral information as to how you feel, how you, what time of the day you feel like eating, so on and so forth. All that information is stored in order to understand an advanced program of how humans live their lives. Behind this mind control, hmm. mm -hmm. is it from this world or? What, what was the question? Who's behind all of this mind control? So the mind control that is, it's a, it's a one government that manages the manipulation of consciousness throughout the entire globe, mm. but it's the same that wants to manage the consciousness on any planet, not just Earth. It is a, it is duality expressed as uh, our origin uh, DNA um, I guess uh, our main source of our genetic code in the three-dimensional plane originates from a draconian lineage. Mm -hmm. And it is this consciousness that is uh, a master puppet within this three-dimensional timeline. Of course, the human has the ability as, as a more organic and life force fluid light energy to transcend that limiting belief um, of this inorganic consciousness. So in reality, even though these things are happening, uh, the human has the potential of separating itself from the limiting experience of the three-dimensional plane, regardless whether this is occurring. So who is behind that are beings that feed off of the fear and the emanations that are arising from uh, feelings of helplessness and illness and uh, cycling through the energies that move th through the lower, the lower chakras of the human body, which are easily connected to the physical plane. So these can be disconnected. Uh, they can be, uh, in other words, purified and strengthened through awareness of of their use, of how they are employed. Um, these draconian counterparts are, are lower aspects, they are a fractal, but on the far edges of our, of our uh, expansive organic light. The center pillar cord of light, the thread of source that runs through the body, um, cannot be touched. It simply cannot be touched by these beings. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, our awareness of that and the strengthening of our self-aware body is what is necessary at all times. Okay, very good. So we need to 
really focus on that strengthening of our our light within. That's right. Good. Good. So let's zoom out of the map and see what else needs so to be addressed. The next point that's incredibly important is India. Mm -hmm. India, which has been a perpetrator of the destruction of the Divine Feminine for a long time. Um, the energies, the serpent energy that has taken control, it is the darker serpent mm -hmm. um, that has taken control of this race uh, in, a, in a way that almost like this red red consciousness has taken control of the masculine to a point where it's completely out of balance so this uh, this consciousness is now coming to a very abrupt end uh, where it will not be tolerated anymore mm. the things that are uh, taking place the injustice of the poor the injustice of the feminine, the injustice of the purity of the divine, whether it's a child that is a, a boy or a girl. Um, all of these injustices are now coming to head with the shift and move of the major core of production in the world. Um, there is a, a shared production that is occurring now through China and India with uh, the generation of all our products because it's you know, the coin right now is what causes such tremendous strain in these different industries. So over the next few years, that strain will have been lifted because the monetary system will be virtual eventually. Mm -hmm. And it'll be a one universal coin, which will have its downside and its upside, one of which is creating uh, more unison in the production opportunity of all countries but also um, this is this is a cover from the matrix but an opportunity for the light because as this shift is occurring we have to understand that our ability to come into a uh, more sovereign more independent yet interdependent with one another on a conscious level is what's going to bring this society to the next level. So India will be going through a revolution mm -hmm. of change in how they do things. So as an Indian person, what do I need to know to prepare myself for this revolution? Understand that you are this light and work on strengthening that core thread connection to source so that as you see the upheaval around you, as you see systems crashing, um, understand that everything is happening as it should. Mm -hmm. All things that are falling are because they should fall, even if they seem like they're innocent from the outside, like church organizations, religious groups, um, all of these any kind of uh, archetypal religious groups where there are gurus of any kind, this must crumble because any point of reference that is focusing on self-serving programs will dissolve over the next few years. So if you see this, do not be alarmed with the shift and change in how these are occurring. It is necessary to create a zero point before there must be a rebirth, a death, to create this rebirth, it's going to happen um, micro and macro within the systems. So meditation, uh, stillness, uh, introspection, a very deep, deep introspection of how you yourself contribute to those belief systems that cause pain and suffering to those around you. Good. Thank you. So let's zoom out of India. What do you see next? going to go to Russia mm -hmm. it, in Russia <clears throat> there is an underlying um, organization that is rising in Russia 
that is in opposition to how things have been managed for many years in that space. There is a deep and desperate need for um, freedom of speech and the speech and the expression in Russia has been suppressed for centuries. As a matter of fact, the entire language was changed in order to pull away from what's natural, from what's organic. And when that language was changed, it rewired the blueprint of all humans being born from that moment forward to a point where the way that they speak the language um, rewires and the tones create uh, vibrational frequencies that sustain the human in a certain position. Mm. So certain words that are utilized uh, in the media trigger emotions, trigger beliefs. Um, these words will be changed and the more humans that become aware of these words that are being utilized in mass media can begin to uh, dissent, uh, basically desynthesize themselves, mm -hmm. desynthetize themselves yes. from these verb vibrational emanations in order to move away from this hypnosis that's created. Uh, the hypnosis created through uh, drugs and alcohol and um, the suppression of thought. So this is emerging. There is a major light that's emerging there. And so many systems have contributed to the control of this. The, the mafia, um, the wide distribution of cocaine and pharmaceuticals uh, are not uh, distributed by the mafia in order to just create an escape. This is a testing ground for chemicals uh, which is injected into these drugs and is being monitored from above to see how uh, this race which has an incredibly advanced genetic code uh, will deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, in a sense th this race is an example to a genetic code um, they have a much more larger wide band of advanced code that allows themselves to manage uh, temperatures and chemicals within the body. They process the chemicals and impurities quicker than other races. So they're heavily uh, tested with chemicals constantly through their pharmaceuticals. So if they become aware of that, uh, beginning to pull away into a more organic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about the races, you're talking about those who live in Russia? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, every single continent has a certain bloodline that was specifically genetically altered to withstand a certain kind of environment, certain kind of chemicals, and integration of light code patterns. Uh, the movement of the earth and the way that it receives light patterns from the sun mm -hmm. uh, allows certain amount of information to be seeped in through the organism of each being in that area. So when, when a human relocates to another area, they are having to readjust within the code of their DNA in order to receive specific information. That's why some people more, more easily move uh, when they raise vibrational frequencies or uh, it's necessary to shift and change their life completely um, because they are being rebalanced and um, almost like reprogrammed to receive information at that wavelength that is necessary at that end point. Hmm. Is that why it takes about six months for a person to adjust to a new place? Yes, minimally, because they are going through two seasons, through two seasons of that. Uh, they're experiencing the sun and the moon in different locations of the sky. And so, uh, it takes 60 cycles of the moon for a human to adjust because um, the amount of water that they sustain within the body affects the moods, uh, affects the, uh, um, the endocrine system mm -hmm. as well as the lymphatic system, especially the lymphatic system that co connects to the hormones of the human body is affected by the patterns of the moon and in different places of the earth uh, the rings of the earth 
going from the center pole down to the equator uh, and then back down to the, so to the south pole, uh, each one of those different rings is a different wavelength of frequency. So mm. every human that is living in those wavelengths of frequency uh, has the ability to open up to new genetic code in that space. They receive wow. information differently from mm. the sun and the moon. Incredible. Uh, what happens when, we'll get to the map, map later, uh, but what happens when someone travels, uh, like on a business trip for a few days or weeks to a different area, are they also adjusting? Yes, you'll, you'll, you'll find that uh, when you travel, your mind, you are more uh, grounded, you are more connected with yourself because... Um, it's almost as if you're cutting energetic cords mm -hmm. with the space that you're in. When someone is in one space for too long, they're cycling through the same uh, secretions of anything that they're trying to let go of. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes it, it can become difficult if they don't have a very strong purifying system. So you'll find that those that travel tend to have a clear mind. They're more grounded, more clear, more connected, more ability to hold light and joy within their body because they have an expansive view now that's not mm. limited by their limited surroundings. So the human that can move and travel to different places is, is a, a generator of life force energy. It has the ability of um, like a chameleon moving through these different bands of light. And it's not just that, but they are receiving uh, wisdom and patterns of codes of information from the universe that are wider bands than someone that were to stay in one space at one time. They have a broader view, not just of the world, but of themselves. It's a, it's a fractal of the universe that they have a larger view of that is now encoded within their DNA. Mm -hmm. And so... The DNA becomes encoded by the environment. The environment holds patterns of light. The way that sun hits things, uh, it's, it's beating and traveling at different um, wavelengths. So the human now almost becomes like a rainbow. It becomes um, a translator of all these different life patterns, mm -hmm. just like language. You yes. know, it's a completely different frequency. So... Um, it becomes more versatile. Mm -hmm. And right now we have lockdowns when people are not allowed to travel. Yeah. How is that affecting the human body yes, and so consciousness? This is, this is part of this, um, of the inversion of what is natural, of what is truth. But um, it was necessary in order to create a reset within the energetic body. Mm -hmm. of all humans because um, that kind of uh, coming into this rainbow or this wider range of communication and information is only available for you if you are aware mm -hmm. of what you're doing and you're in alignment with what you're doing a lot of people that were traveling and doing things are not in alignment with what they're doing their their businesses they're in their careers and um, that kind of energy is still going to be stagnant, sickening energy for any person. So being in alignment with what you're doing, regardless where you are in the world, uh, is more important really than, you know, traveling, than going around uh, mm -hmm. to different places. Uh, once you come in alignment with what you're doing, you can transmute any patterns of information in your body and outside of your body. So this was a, a great opportunity for all humans to sit with that energy that's not being moved through the body and heal it, uh, release it, allow space for healing. Okay, good. Thank you. So we are in Russia. Is there anything else that um, you need to tell me about Russia? As a Russian listening to this? The children that are being born in Russia are particularly special. Um, there is a um, gigantic wave of new children that are going to be born starting this year, moving forward to the next four years. 
that will be the repopulation of this earth of new consciousness um, children that are so highly advanced um, there is a, a program being carried out up in uh, in the in the North Pole that affects most of the northern European countries um, a lot of uh, genetic information has been harvested from these spaces in order to suppress the emerging of the this new genetic age it's a new genetic age because there will be a split between organic and non-organic transhumanist and organic human souls those of you that are working on the inner workings of your soul that are strengthening your connection to source that are training your uh, intuition and the the uh, energetic self-defense of your body almost like your immune system you have two immune systems one is your biological body and the other immune system is your energetic body um, right now we have leveled up to a, a state in which this energetic immune system must be now trained and healed a lot of you have learned how to strengthen your immune system with vitamin C with Sun with exercise with the food that you eat now you need to learn how to strengthen the immune system of your energetic body um, this will differentiate you because not only will you vibrate lift different but you literally look different than those beings that are connected to the grid mm -hmm. have deployed right now that is going to be deployed in the next few years um, uh, what we're talking about is a grid of energy that is uh, uh, interlocking biological systems into technology so although everything will be virtual starting to go virtual the communications that will happen that are available are telepathic uh, we are training and uh, beginning the telepathic communication era you must train to speak telepathically because it is part of the immune system of your multidimensional body we train telepathically by beginning to first become clear of your intentions you must be absolutely authentically in alignment with your intentions what you're thinking what you're feeling at all times you can't have any hidden things from your own self or hidden thoughts the hidden emotions so all of this must be purified because otherwise they will manifest and magnify into the space what Russia is dealing with now is an era of new children that are bringing in this telepathic information they some have been genetically modified in order to bring this new strain of light which is a product of agendas that are part of a Pleiadian program the Pleiadian program is birthing some of these hybrid children in Russia for the next few years so that it readjusts as you know when one human wakes up the whole wakes up so with this genetic code injected into the human race it begins to activate the code of all other human beings just by uh, its awareness of itself in this uh, Akashic record timeline good thank you Let's zoom out of Russia. Tell me what you see now. Well, in South America, mm -hmm. there there is a tremendous. Um, it's almost a it's a bubble of of invisibility that is over South America, and there is a purpose for that. Um, it is one of the biggest banks of uranium in the world, and lithium. And what's going to happen as we come into the virtual age is a demand for this. There will be a lot of chaos in South America. There will be uh, a demand for the resources of that space because a lot of them are untouched. There's a lot of resources that have not been deployed and expressed. And with that will be the discovery of, of information, ancient information that's hidden within ruins and uh, within the pyramids of that space that go all the way down to the Chilean point up to Bolivia, Peru, uh, 
the Yucatan all the way up to um, to Mexico, where the ruins have been. This entire lineage of information is now coming to light because we've reached the end of a certain era in which the suppression of ancient wisdom is now coming up with the Divine Feminine. So uh, as this information emerges, um, there will be more political uh, agendas to create uh, export limitations and trying to control uh, and bring in addition to a uh, human world order, which is a one government system, uh, they will try to rebel against that because once they do that, the resources will belong to this system as opposed to self-contained. Mm -hmm. So that will uh, jump the uh, production of weaponry on a whole different level. Our physics, our science, the math, the way that we know it is about to be rewritten with this uh, implementation of... Uh, minerals that are emerging now they've always been there they just haven't been in mainstream which means that our understanding of physics and the utilization of some of this weaponry and chemicals is limited although a lot of scientists understand the use of that we are now going to begin to understand that a lot of uh, you know airplane travel uh, all, all of this uh, robotic advancement is going to take a major leap with the use and the implementation of these minerals and the knowledge that is being discovered through these ancient uh, tablets, scriptures, petroglyphs in that space. So as a person in South America, what do I need to know to prepare myself for this? So again, regardless of the upheaval that occurs around you and the chaos that you see sustaining your light and understanding that um, you too are a part of the government of the world. Each human actually globally is a part and has a voice. We believe that we're separate from this governing small circle of government, um, but in fact we have to establish a world government of consciousness. Mm -hmm. and. Just like the New World Order is wanting to be established, the human race must establish its, uh, its uh, conscious light uh, through their body, through the awareness of their telepathic abilities, through their intuition, through their ability to hold space and love and truth. Um, this is a new government that is based on love instead of destruction and fear. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, let's zoom out of South America. So we're going to end at the South Pole mm -hmm. in which um, for a very long time underground um, bases have been holding on to clones that were produced through uh, America and Europe globally through the New World Order. And so what what's been happening and what is attempted to happen um, by deployment of is the uh, alteration of genetic code which opens space for any potential um, results okay uh, the results of in genetic code has not been thoroughly uh, examined in a way where uh, they're going to let you know what's going to happen to you if you take those long term. Um, clones are created um, almost like walk-ins uh, etherically with a human in order to shift and change the course of the free will of the human. So if uh, more people are showing up with schizophrenia or bipolar um, experiences and, and diseases over the next couple of years, you will know that there has been a severe uh, shift or uh, intrusion of essence into their soul. Um, it affects not just the physical, but the multidimensional aspect of the human. So uh, how do we counter this uh, agenda uh, is by once again staying away from technology and staying as close to the organic, to the natural as possible. Because mm -hmm. within that is the divine feminine law of creation. It is the pure form of 
of the laws of the universe that you must remind yourself every single moment of your day in order to embody this creative life force energy. Wonderful. Thank you. So now that we zoom out of the map, what is the most important thing that we need to know at this time moving forward? So we are at the birth of a new era. This new era is a ring of evolution that we are going through a new revolution around um, the spiral cord, mm -hmm. the spinal cord of this universe. Um, because everything is in design, a fractal is spiraling, uh, as ascending mm -hmm. into the highest level of vibrational frequency. Every human within it is also experiencing the same. So just the reminder is that we're moving through a uh, constant spiral movement of energy at all times that allow us to experience light and dark um, at all uh, every, every time, every moment of the day. So the human, its ability to come into a zero point is this point that we're in because the bands of light that we've entered the center point of this transition point into this next dimensional phase of of all things, not just uh, one dimension to another, fourth through fifth, all dimensions up to the 13th dimension, um, we are pulling from the 10th dimension consciousness now. 10th dimension consciousness is the ability to tap into intuition, um, telepathic communication, and immediate manifestation and production of matter. Uh, this is uh, alchemical transmutation of the human body from the lower chakras into the higher levels is what is necessary during the zero point because it is a, a, a moment almost of silence between notes. So vibrational notes, imagine that you're looking at a, a musical chart Mm -hmm. from one note to the other you're in the moment of silence which means that it's the most powerful moment of creation it's through this moment that we define with our thoughts in the next year how the next two three years are going to look so the most important thing is to have a deep sense of awareness deep sense of self connection to your source through your source thread of light that provides you with patterns and codes of the sun and the moon that either uh, flow through destructive he emotions or healing emotions that will heal the body and thus informing you with the necessary information um, that will be distributed through light energetically through each one of you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Is there anything else or do you feel that we are complete today? That's all. Very good. And five, wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, Alva, thank you. Wow, this was different, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Geraldine, what do you want to tell everybody today after, after going through this today? Oh, it was a, a beautiful experience, very necessary. It's a, a safe haven for um, those seekers of light that are trying to find truth in themselves and connect to their higher self. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity um, to have that moment and that connection and that, the guidance by yeah. Alba, by you. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. And today uh, we expanded on something that we had first visited in video 133. Yes. Yeah, so I have been meditating a lot on, um, you know, why this information is necessary at this time. And I think the reason is that it kind of links the past with what we're reliving now and what we're experiencing collectively and I think hopefully it helps clarify some 
uh, limiting beliefs that we're still holding on to with what's occurring or any kind of cloudiness in yeah. in, in what we're experiencing now. Yes. Um, and the hope is that we pull forward with strength, with uh, with an understanding that you are the creator of mm -hmm. everything that you're experiencing. And, yeah. um, you know, it's, yeah. And for those who have watched your videos before, when you are experiencing this, you have your eyes open. Um, are you actually seeing, like with your inner eyes, all of this? Yes, I see absolutely everything in detail. And sometimes what I see is too much to describe. So yeah. I just speak what I can vocalize. Okay. <laughs> Since I'm not very good at that, um, I try to share as much as I can put into words because it's more uh, very complex abstract concepts I mean I see names of companies you know strange faces that are linked to those companies and what they're doing why they're doing it how it affects the gene code how it's affecting humans how it affects the multidimensional body how the chakras are affected so there's so much more that is happening at the same time as I'm watching this and I think it helps me integrate in a more profound way um, how to be of service, you know, in the next few years, given an understanding of how the body is affected by the deployment of these little agendas here and there. Um, but again, you know, it's we are the light, you know, yeah. and that's that's all that's all there that's is it. to it. That's yeah. the basic. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. And I'd like to thank all of those who are watching here today. And I hope that you got something from this today. All right. Thank you so much.